Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today we're going to be talking about the siblings of General George Washington. That's right, George Washington is venerated in American history nowadays, and it's often forgotten that he was not an only child. He had several siblings, six actually, who survived to adulthood, and two of whom lived long enough to watch him become President of the United States. So today we're going to run through the list pretty briefly, give, give a little background on each sibling and how they affected Washington and American history in general. So first, the oldest Washington child was Lawrence, who is probably after George the most famous one because of his effect on George's life. Lawrence was significantly older than George, and he was born, uh, uh, I'm sorry, he, when their father passed away, Lawrence took over all of the several estates they had and was in charge of the family. So, uh, Washington looked up to Lawrence as a father figure of sorts. Unfortunately, Lawrence contracted uh, tuberculosis, and they had to, they were recommended, as was traditional at the time, uh, doctors recommended they go to the West Indies in the Caribbean to get some of that fresh island air and recuperate. And they did so, and actually while they were there, it's the only time George Washington ever left the modern United States of America. And while he was there, he caught smallpox. Fortunately, he survived, and as this type of disease works, he was therefore inoculated for the future when he was, it would be in the Continental Army and smallpox would run through the army. He didn't have to worry about catching it. Unfortunately, Lawrence himself passed away uh, not long after that when George was still just 19 years old. Um, and what's very interesting also about Lawrence is that he's the one when as a younger man he joined the Virginia militia and fought in the war of Jenkins ear which was a, a war uh, between Great Britain and Spain and when he returned home he named one of his estates after his commander uh, Admiral Edward Vernon that of course would be Mount Vernon and that of course is now the famous home of George Washington but let's move on to Augustine Washington, the second Washington child, and his story relates a little bit, because when Lawrence passed away, Augustine had his pick as the second oldest son, could choose whichever property he wanted, and he chose Pope's Creek, which was the smaller, not quite as nice residence as Mount Vernon, which is a little bit strange, but fortunately for history, that means that George Washington was able to take Mount Vernon. Um, uh, Unfortunately, Augustine also died when George was relatively young. George was only 30 when his other older brother died, and, and therefore 30 years old, George was put in charge of now the entire Washington uh, uh, fortune and all the children, including uh, taking in some of Augustine's children and raising them, notably uh, Elizabeth, uh, who married uh, Alexander Spotswood, who was, uh, I believe, a colonel in the... Uh, uh, Continental Army. Correct me if I am wrong, he might have been above or below that, but off the top of my head, I believe Spotswood was a colonel. And they would get married at Mount Vernon. After that, we have to talk about Elizabeth Washington. Now, Elizabeth was uh, the first one born after George. George was the third child. Elizabeth was known as Betty, and Betty Washington was the only woman to survive to adulthood and one of only two siblings to watch her brother become president. So Betty did play in a, a fairly significant role in the revolution. Um, her and her husband, Fielding Lewis, uh, they ran a general store in Virginia. And once the revolution broke out, they helped supply the army. Um, unfortunately, Fielding died uh, about a month before the Battle of Yorktown, and Betty fell on some hard times, and she had to uh, sell the store, and she opened a boarding school to be one of the founders of education in America, although her school, she never rose to really that level. To I shouldn't make that claim. She never got that level, but she did, of course, um, uh, educate children. And from there, uh, she would retire and live with her daughter for several years and watch her brother become president of the United States of America. After Elizabeth was Samuel Washington. Now, Samuel probably played the biggest direct role in the Revolution after George. Um, he, uh, in uh, 
<clears throat> excuse me, uh, in uh, 1766, all the way back in 1766, he signed the Westmoreland Resolves, <clears throat> which were written as a response to the Stamp Act by uh, Richard Henry Lee, of all people. Uh, and I, at this point, I don't believe George was there. I should have probably checked that before I made the video. I don't believe George was there, but a decade before the Declaration, Samuel was there with many other future founders signing off on this is garbage, no more Stamp Act. Uh, and interestingly enough, he didn't play a large role in the war itself. He would move to um, Western Virginia. Today we'd call it West Virginia, but back then it was Western Virginia. Uh, and he was, we'll see, one of several uh, Washington siblings to move out west and start uh, communities out west. And what's very interesting is Samuel Washington's residence, for whatever reason, ended up being the wedding place where the union between James Madison and Dolly Madison happened. So uh, that is Samuel's other claim to fame. After Samuel was John Augustine Washington, he was also very involved in the Revolution. Uh, he attended the 5th Virginia Convention, uh, which was in May of 1776, when uh, George was, just after George had Boston evacuated and they were making their way to New York, uh, they had the 5th Virginia Convention, which basically declared Virginia independent from Great Britain. They said, we're not going to wait for the Continental Army or the Continental Congress. We are simply going to declare ourselves independent. And this they did. And uh, John A. Washington was there. He was present for that, and he signed. That Declaration of Independence, that it was. It was not the Declaration excuse me, of Independence, but it certainly was a, an A Declaration of Independence. Also, side note, John Washington had a son named Bushrod Washington. And Bushrod, George's nephew, of all the people I've discussed so far today, had by far the biggest impact on American history because he was appointed by John Adams as a, an associate justice on the Supreme Court. And he would spend three decades serving with John Marshall on the Supreme Court, defining what the Supreme Court is and in many ways defining how the U.S. government operates. He has... Uh, Bushrod, I will give him his own video, because Bushrod had an enormous impact on the way, on the country we live in today. And and it's not a name people hear a lot. Bushrod, great name. But it's not something we hear a lot, um, but it's certainly... Uh, John A. Washington's son had a... was a founder indeed. And uh, finally, we talk about Charles Washington. Now, Charles was the youngest brother. He didn't really do much. He did also move out west. He really didn't play much of a role in the revolution. He just kind of wanted to keep to himself. Clearly, Big Brother George was getting the attention, and he didn't want to try and get involved with that. Uh, he moved not far from Samuel, and Charles started. He did something that I, I'm envious of, even though it's enormously selfish. He started a town, and he named it after himself. He started Charles Town in modern West Virginia. Uh, not to be confused with Charleston, that is the current capital of West Virginia and the biggest city. I think it has about 50,000 people. Uh, Charles Town has about six, it's a bigger town, it has about 6,000 people, but it's not a major city. Um, and interestingly, in Charles Town, he named all the streets after his brothers. So each person we've spoken about today has a street named after them in youngest brother Charles's town, Charlestown. So, uh, and I will say Charles Washington did live long enough with Betty to see George become president. So we're going to leave it there today. I'm going to try and keep it under 10 minutes. Uh, it is, uh, those are Washington's siblings. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the, the little thingy below. And other than that, thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow.